Don't touch my boobs. Buy me a drink first. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's comfy. Oh my goodness. That's what it looks like. Oh. Hello everyone, me again. Welcome back to Wakes Media Wakes and another weekly vlog. Uh, today is Monday uh, and I'm making myself a cup of tea. I've got no food in the house whatsoever. I'm going to do some shopping tomorrow uh, when I get paid or when I pay myself. Um, loads of people ask about that, by the way. I, I work a year in advance with my money, so um, I pay myself every month to have the money in an account and then I pay myself to try and keep it as much to sort of normal job payments as possible um, and also because it's very tempting to just go oh I need a bit of extra money let me just dip into there so I have set paydays like everybody else which is why I know loads of you sort of I've said that before and you've gone what do you mean payday I've got really confused well that's what I mean by payday uh, so it is a uh, payday tomorrow <laughs> which I'm excited for so I'm going to do my food shop then but for now I haven't really got anything in the house so I don't want to have for breakfast might have some frozen bread in the freezer let's make some toast so very exciting week this week i am getting my new sofa on wednesday which is amazing can't wait I need to get rid of this one as well don't know how i'm going to get this out or how on earth they're going to get the new one in because it's going to be quite a lot bigger have i got enough cushions and throws that is the question of the day yeah so uh if you might remember a couple of months ago now um i did a collaboration with sophology i went into their new store in rugby and they helped me pick out a new sofa which is very exciting because the one that i've got was super cheap and the only one available at the time when i moved into my flat um that could be delivered within about two weeks otherwise it was going to be like two months couldn't be without a sofa without for two months and yeah it actually came my original came from sophology and they were so good um they were really really friendly and it came in time and it's a brilliant sofa for the money however it was just sort of a uh, what i could afford at the time so when they said do you want to pick a nice new sofa i was like yes please especially because that one is comfy but i need somewhere to put my feet up my back so i've picked a chaise long for my new sofa which i'm really excited to show you it's beautiful it's beautiful um so i come on over to the blog and uh, I've got a blog post on how what to look for when you're picking a new sofa because there are so many options. Oh my god, I didn't realise, and there's so much stuff you actually need to think about. So um, I put a little blog together about that for everything that I learned from the uh, from the Sophology store, and then I'm going to be writing up a styling post on how to style your sofa, uh, which I'm very looking forward to. So that will be going up in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, come over on the blog, check that out. Got a load of other blog posts as well going on at the moment, which are pretty good for do so so myself. Um, sorry my back's still really hurting today so i'm just like trying to bend down without actually bending just bend at the knees um yeah i've got quite a few i've got one on how to look at that weirdo what's he doing are you on your magic carpet <laughs> what are you doing hello team it is uh currently five past five and i was hoping i was going to be chatting to you and be like oh yeah i've had such a productive day i haven't my back is completely gone and as you can see by my face there's been a lot of tears today because they've just been in absolute agony and i'm even more gutted because tonight i was going to a recruitment selection day for the samaritans because i want to go and volunteer with them and give time for them because I've used them myself a lot last year and um, so I want to give back and I can't I literally can't get there so I phoned them up and I was like is there any other way that we can sort of um, rearrange or because it's like an information evening with the people that they've selected and uh, and they were like no really sorry you can try again in September so I'm absolutely good. I've just been having a little cry about it on the phone to Lucy because I was just like, I really just want to help people. And then I've just been buggered off with my back. And I think the problem is it's with my back when it goes like this, it's it for me mentally, it's the it's like all control has been taken away from me because I literally my body just doesn't work. And anybody who's had like an injury before, whether it's um a lifelong problem or a sports injury like mine, it you'll understand it just feels like you've had all your choice taken away from you because there's just nothing i can do i'm like drugged up to the eyeballs it's probably why i'm a bit teary <laughs> and i've heated it i've iced it i've done as many stretches as possible although i did get stuck on the floor for an hour when i was trying to do my stretches and it started to spasm when i couldn't get up um that was fun just because my phone was over the other side of the room so i was like panicking thinking oh my god what happens if i can't get up i'm gonna be i'm gonna die here oh don't do that that hurts um 
yeah so it's just incredibly frustrating so i'm gonna bring myself a bath now toby's been so good today he's just been giving me cuddles and not sort of he's just been pottering around and playing with his toys and just he's been brilliant um because normally he's full of energy as you've seen but i think they know when you're not well don't they it's quite fascinating really so yeah uh, i'm gonna get in the bath and the hope that if i soak in there for a little bit it might help and i'm just trying to mentally stay calm because i think that's that's a big thing isn't it with these kind of things if you're because i'm obviously stressing and panicking now because i missed out on the samaritan thing i've also got a big event in london on thursday i've got a bloody india next week so i'm screwed if it doesn't get better for them so i'm just trying not to panic and um just take each day at a time so yeah i'm probably not gonna vlog again today because i'm sick of myself looking like this and also going i'm not very well as i've said so many times it's really upsetting me um because i kind of like we started the year so well i was like yeah we're gonna power through i'm not gonna get ill this year it's all gonna be great but you can't help these things can you so yeah just made myself a juice from the Philips um, healthy drinks app thing. This one's called an antioxidant smoothie will juice thing. So it's got beetroot, carrot, spinach, ginger, lime, and it's supposed to have some berries in it, but I, they, I didn't have any, so I've done it without. And actually it tastes really nice, even though it looks like pond water. Um, but yeah, really tasty actually. I just love lime and ginger and anything. It just kind of saves any juices. I've done a whole blog post on um, my juicing. I'm getting back into it again because it's really good for you. Um, but yeah, I just find that if you just add ginger and <laughs> lime to anything, it can make it taste pretty good, even though, wow, that looks depressing, doesn't it? Goodness me. Nice new glasses though from Ikea. Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. Is it? Yes, it's Tuesday, oh my god. Yeah, it's Tuesday. It is actually 4 p.m. I haven't vlogged today, sorry. Um, but I woke up feeling a lot better, actually. My back was still pretty painful, but I've had my tablets and everything from the doctor and um, painkillers, and it's actually taken it off, and I've only had one lot today, so that's really good. It still feels quite weak, quite, um, yeah, just twingy, I guess, and a little bit painful down one side, but I can move around a lot better. Um, and yeah, I'm not so teary today. <laughs> I feel a little bit more capable uh, than I did yesterday. So I'm just rolling with it. I've uh, done the weekly vlog and also written up a blog post for you on how to start your own blog. So if you're interested in that, that will be up on xmelirex.com. And uh, I'm just off to go and shower first, because <laughs> wow. Uh, and then going to meet my friend Sam, who's gonna help me out hopefully optimizing some of my website stuff that went wrong last week uh, that has been driving me mad since so hopefully he's gonna be able to figure that out for me and then i'm going pottery painting with lucy which i'm very excited for because yeah i just feel like i need two hours of chill painting i don't know another giraffe i'm not gonna paint another giraffe um, but go and paint something and drinking tea with her so that'll be really nice but uh yeah i'm gonna hop in the shower now do something with her face and then we'll crack on with the evening Oh my goodness, look at me, washed hair and everything. I'm also wearing two very nice pieces I bought from um, Forever 21 yesterday. So this is like a super baggy v-neck jumper and this is one of those super baggy things. They were like £11 each. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself. Um, yeah, laptop, bag, gotta go, I'm really late. But yeah, hopefully I can get some of my website running a bit quicker um, and it'll only cost me a coffee and a cake for little old Sam. <laughs> A prime example of it's not what you know, it's who you know. <laughs> Thank goodness for Sam. Oh my goodness, day equals made. So uh, I was ranting to Sam last week about my shoes that I stepped in the dog poo for and I went to go and find them on Saturday or Sunday in Birmingham and found them in a size 7 but we couldn't buy them because it was browsing until 11. Finally went back to go and get them and they'd sold out, so I was absolutely gutted. <laughs> he found them in Primark and bought me a pair. What a cutie pie. And he's managed to sort my website out as well. What a ledge. It's now running super, super quick. So uh, hop on over and have a look. But yeah, really, really pleased with that. I can't believe it. I and mean, there's still um, more work that we can do. Um, but yeah, it was like such an easy fix as well. It's just, if you know what you're doing, it's a really easy fix. But when you're me, you don't know what you're doing. Not an easy fix. Oh, I feel so loved. That was really nice. Anyway, Lucy's on her way. We're going to go and paint some pots. Want to paint a pot? You can't paint a pot because you're a dog. Dogs don't paint pots. <laughs> Do it again. 
<laughs> he's like, more, more. So I am making something for Matt's birthday because I'm a little bit broke and I can't afford to buy him a present. And I know he doesn't watch these vlogs, so it's fine. Um, so I'm going to paint him this little bird because he likes to, um, he likes nature and stuff. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to like it, but we'll see. Yeah. Lucy's painting an owl. Yeah. Purple and gold owl for a tea light holder, which is nice. We've got our Earl Grey tea, lemon drizzle cake. Oh, what a perfect way to spend a Tuesday. Oh my goodness, it's half past seven and they are bang on the money for the sofa. So we're just trying to move the old one out, move that one across. Fingers crossed it fits. Right, let me show you my new sofa. This is the new sofa, oh my goodness, it's huge. I'd just like to say that I picked this for my future house, um, not for this house, so it is pretty furniture heavy in here so far. Um, but, yeah, this is the chaise long, it's a four-seater chaise. Toby, stop eating that plastic one second. So yeah, four-seater chaise, and then we have the little armchair there, and then the biggest footstool in the world, which is gonna be amazing, but that is basically gonna sit in that gap there. So it's essentially a double bed for a sofa. Oh, it's gonna be so comfy. And I'm gonna need a new coffee table because that is way too big. But luckily for me, that was 15 pounds from Ikea, and it served me well for a year. So yeah, oh my goodness, I need to go and sit on it. Should we sit on it? Should we sit on it? Not you, you're not allowed. <laughs> it is so early in the morning. You ready? The inaugural sit on the new sofa. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's comfy, oh my goodness. Ah, yes, oh wow, look at this. I can literally, oh, heaven, heaven, Toby. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. This is just gonna be me here now, forever. Nice to know you all, I'm never leaving the house again. Oh. It's really comfy actually. So this is the Cricketer. This is the one that we chose. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, promise. Don't bury yourself under these new. You get cushions as well with sofa that you sofas. Um, and the patterns were always horrible, but free cushions because the ones I got with the old sofa, I've just recovered with some new covers from Dunelm that were about six pounds, so. Top tip, always keep the cushions. Um, are you wiping yourself on my new sofa because it smells too new? Is that what you're doing? To try and like make it stink of dog? Not cool, little man. Not cool. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Cricketer sofa. It's a four-seater chaise long, and then the single armchair and a footstool. Um, and it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so comfortable. It's so big. It's really deep as well, which is great because you can kind of, even with my super long legs, you can kind of sit on there and it's, I'm not even right at the back. It's like beyond knee level. It's just, it's perfect. The cushions are really well filled. Um, it's just, it's one of their more sort of, it's an upgraded sofa. So the one I was originally looking at, um, they were like, yeah, it's really nice. However, have you seen this one? Have you met Ted? <laughs> and basically they showed me this one, I was like, yeah, no, this is so much better. That is my sofa situation in here now. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Need uh, Steve to come and collect the bottom one and then remove that top one. But yeah, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go and move my furniture around now and put some nice cushions on it and just, just enjoy it. Just have a cup of tea and watch this morning. Oh my goodness, so happy with that. Are you proud of me? Mum and Dad offered to take me to McDonald's for lunch and I said no. I'm having salad, half a jacket, sweet potato and tuna. <sighs> I feel so proud right now. <gasps> hey team, so it's about quarter past three and I am going to the hospital for an x-ray on my back, which is long overdue, um, but I've just phoned them up to see like what kind of state that they're in she's like oh it's we're not that busy today i'm like right coming down now <laughs> so hopefully shouldn't have to wait more than an hour um but yeah it's, it's one of those really frustrating things where i am so busy with work stuff that i really cannot afford to take the time to go but it's your health and if i was in a nine to five job i'd just be like really sorry guys i've got to go for this appointment and you'd get like half day off or something wouldn't you so i need to get that in my mindset that <laughs> your health comes first and you need to go so i'm gonna head down now and have my very first x-ray. I've had like x-rays for my, for my teeth and stuff, but I've never had an actual x-ray. This will be 
quite fun. I'll let you know what they say. Well, that's that done. What a strange experience. Um, but yeah, it's all done now. And they said that the results will be back in about two weeks. So yeah, just gonna wait till two weeks and then book in with my doctor to see what it says. Weird. They were even they were like, oh, we shouldn't be doing this because you're very young. I'm like, well, there's gonna be something wrong, and the doctor thinks there's something wrong, so that's why I'm here. Can you just like, marry me, please? Um, but yeah, hopefully there isn't anything wrong, but we shall see in a couple of weeks' time. So um, I got back and I'm making a juice as a little snack. Um, I've just made it up today, but it tastes really good. So I've got two big carrots in. Well, three carrots. Um, one was big, two was small. Uh, ginger, half a lemon, mm, a Granny Smith apple, and an orange. So lots of vitamin C. And you know what? Mm. It tastes really good. Like, actually really, really good. So, yeah, I'm just going to clean out the juicer and then uh, crack on with some more work. So, somebody mentioned last week that they're having fajitas, and I got really jealous because I love fajitas, but they're really depressing to make when you're on your own, and also they're quite high in calories. So, I decided I was going to try and make my own little kind of like semi healthy fajita tea. Um, so, I've just got one chicken breast, a yellow pepper, a red onion, and I've just fried it in half a packet of fajita mix. And it's split into two portions. And I've got some brown rice underneath, which is also split into two portions. So that's uh, lunch for another day. Then I just steamed some um, cabbage. I'm just going to put a dollop of sour cream on, low fat, and a dollop of mild salsa on the top, and then half an avocado. And that's my fake fajita tea. I'm going to let you know how it works out, but it smells pretty good. Do you know what, guys? I genuinely think I'm onto something here. And you're not tempted to eat like loads of tortillas, put a little bit of low fat cheese on top as well. And with the added greens, it's like extra goodness, which goes with my blog post that I wrote last week. I think I'm onto something. We might have cracked it. Right, pub quiz time Disney versus Pixar. Are we going to win? Of course we are. <laughs> we have our little mascot for Simba there. More lost than Nemo. Ready to play. No, no, it's like. I, know, I think it's like Do you know what? I didn't know this. Three teams answered correctly. It's 2001. <laughs> In third, it's super girly on 336. Oh. Now then, winning our £10 voucher. It's Trotters Independent Trading on 336. We won again. Good morning, everybody. Um, I've had the night from hell. <laughs> it's been awful. I got back from the pub quiz. Um, before I went to the pub quiz, I was feeling a little bit like not great. I think I was. I think I said in the vlog like I'm not sure if this water infection's completely gone. Starting to feel a bit mm, not not good. Went to the um, pub quiz. Sat there with a hot water bottle between my legs because you know I'm like an adult now, so I don't give a shit what people think of me. Um, and it just started to feel gradually worse and worse and worse. We won. Awesome. Then we came home. As soon as I got home, went to the loo, and I was like, oh my god. I, it was just, it's back with a vengeance. And it was about 11 pm then. So I phoned, um, I have a dipstick test to do at home, did one of those. And if honestly, if those tests could had like words, it would have just gone, oh my god you're dying because <laughs> literally everything that like signals an infection was just like whoosh, straight at the like the, the bad end so i phoned nhs 111 uh to get some antibiotics asap and they were like yeah we'll phone you back in two hours um and sort you an appointment so i was like okay no problem sat in the bath Phone literally took two hours to get the phone call back. Normally they're over there a bit quicker, but they must have been busy. So it's like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Hi, sorry for the delay. Um, we still haven't been able to locate somebody to give you a call, so we'll give you a call as soon as possible. Another half an hour goes by. It's like half one in the morning. Get a doctor from, not from around here, that says, right, okay, so we need to do a test, blah, 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 that looks for this. I was like, I've done it. He's like, what? I said, I've, I've got those at home. I'm a seasoned pro at this. I, and the doctor recommended that I get some because I was like diagnosed with Klebsiella like years ago, which is life-threatening. Um, so yeah, I've done all the tests. I was like, oh, okay. And what about the results? So again, the results, he was like, oh dear, yes. That is quite serious. I'll get somebody uh, closer to you to give you a call within the next two minutes and book you in. 
another half an hour goes by, <laughs> get a phone call. Hi, yeah, uh, we'd really like to see you. Um, can you come in to the hospital that isn't near me? It's like half an hour away from me at half past five in the morning. <laughs> so bear in mind, it's like half two, nearly 3 a.m. now. I've been sat in the bath crying for hours and uh, now I have to wait till like 5.30. Uh, but yeah, I've had like about an hour's sleep and I feel atrocious. I'm in so much pain. And yeah, I've had to cancel all of my stuff today because I'm supposed to be going down to London, but I can just, I'm in like, I, I'm handling it quite well, I think, <laughs> but I am in so much pain. I'm, I'm supposed to be going to the benefit launch for the out of this world thing. So I'm just gonna be sat watching their Facebook live as it's revealed, wishing I was there drinking champagne. And um, yeah, it's, it's awful but i made a decision today that i'm not going to work i'm just going to sit in the warm with a hot water bottle between my legs um staying hydrated eating healthy and just trying to stay positive um because i am a sucker for powering through when i shouldn't be and it just makes things worse so yes that is the plan for today so if you don't see me much today it's because i can't be bothered to moan on the internet anymore if i'm honest um but i can't just like disappear for a day and you guys go where did she go where's this benefit launch she was banging on about that's what's happened it sucks i'm really ill i'll catch up with you in a little bit better <laughs> Oh yay, look what just dropped through my door. It is the new Benefit mascara from the launch last night that I couldn't make it. Thank you so much to the PR who obviously sent this through out of my goodie bag. No, don't eat it. I'm really excited to try it. Basically, did I tell you say it's, it's a mascara with like fibers in it? Um, but they, they, it's the fibers that they use in space to make it extra volumey. I'm very excited for that actually. I'll give that a go today when I put something in your mouth. Uh, Excuse me, <laughs> when I put something on my face. Did you get invited to the launch? No, you didn't, therefore, this is not yours. Okay, I've just come downstairs, ignore my like hideous face and hair. Um, I've just come downstairs to try it, and that's an eye with it, that's the eye without it. Um, it's interesting, it's very wet. It's a very wet mascara, but it really does add quite a lot of volume. Um, I'm gonna try it on this eye now with curling it as well with a curling wand thingy eye curlers oh my god <laughs> try it on that where's my curlers and see if that makes a difference but yeah this is the that's what it looks like oh today's juice looks like something that we drink on a bush took a trial like blended something or other um let's have a look oh it's not that bad it's uh, a <laughs> i'm really selling these juices it's kale loads of kale Beetroot, because that's really good for you. Uh, carrot, orange, ginger, and lemon. Mm. And an apple thrown in for good measure. Mm. It's nice, it's quite sweet today. The beetroot makes it quite sweet. But then if you've got the ginger and lemon, it kind of cuts through. Um, yeah, no, I like that. Well done, me. Filling my body full, filling my body full of goodness to try and fight off any more infections. Get rid of this one, stop it from coming back, stopping my, eh, excuse me, get out. Filling my body full of goodness to kind of ward off this infection and stop me from getting like run down from the antibiotics because they're super strong ones for this one. Because it's moved to my goodness. So uh, yeah, I don't want to get let those sort of get me run down again and then catch another one because that's what happened last year wasn't it we kind of had an infection got we got strong antibiotics for it and then they run me down so much that i caught another one <laughs> and it was just an ongoing cycle of hell oh you can't be a hair wash and a little bit of makeup even though i am just in my elephant pants in like the baggiest most comfortable outfit in the world um but never mind we're making some form of an effort and i really just wanted to wash my hair i'm loving the ghd curve wand um by the way that's what i've done with this so i i use the babyliss um bronze one when i want to get like super super tight curls if i'm going out and then want them to stay but just on an everyday kind of level i use the ghd curve just because it gives you like a really casual curve and then they just sort of drop out nicely into a wave so um yeah if anybody wants to know that's what i've used on my hair today so i'm gonna go and finally film this job removal video i'm gonna do it like super casual on the sofa in sort of like real time just to show you how easy it is to do um just because there's loads of like really professional of these ones of these videos out there 
so if you want to know how to remove them you can find it on youtube anyway so i thought instead of like trying to copy that almost and do it on like a white background it'd be really professional i'm just going to show you how i do it my way um and just put a bit of me in the video in the hope that that might be a bit more appealing to people i don't know so um yeah <laughs> here's me trying to be a beauty guru when i actually have got no idea what i'm doing myself so tonight i'm making two Thai curries, a green one and a red one uh, for Matt and Lucy who've come around for dinner because my mum and dad have recently been to Thailand and they bought me some paste back and we really wanted to just try them. They're looking so good and I am starving. Yes. Oh, look at all this washing up. Ugh. Good morning everybody, it is Saturday and today is the day of my rearranged Bumble dog walk. And I'm gutted because yesterday's weather was glorious, oh. today not so good. Um, yeah, I'm a bit, a bit annoyed, but never mind, it's fine. A little bit of drizzle never hurt anybody, it's literally just grey skies and a bit a bit soggy it's not too bad so um i have all the bumble gear got loads of bumble bubble hats to give out and uh, we're gonna head over to birmingham i think lucy and matt are coming as well so that'll be nice there's some extra doggies there for everybody toby what are you doing stop um yeah so we've got a uh, few extra doggies there for people to stroke. Yeah, it should be nice i'm really looking forward to it I might grab a coffee on the way though because i am dying i'm so tired feeling a little bit better though slowly and steadily every day the drugs are definitely kicking in now so that's really good um i'll be having a decaf coffee before anybody says caffeine's not good for your bladder um but yeah it's uh we're getting there we're getting there yeah well that was a really lovely dog walk and we had quite a few people turn up actually i'm very surprised because <laughs> the weather was awful it has actually stopped raining now but um everybody's covered in mud the dogs are filthy but everyone's had a great time so yeah success success number what's that number four five anyway we're doing some good bumble events um so i am now off home i'm trying to what he's doing in the back digging uh, i'm gonna go and bath toby and probably bath myself again and then i'm out for lunch this afternoon which will be really nice because i'm starving it is so cold outside and I've been outside most of the day. I walked to and from town as well for lunch and obviously this morning with the dog walk. So I'm going to go and have myself a bath. I've run it with loads of candles. Let me show you. It actually looks really pretty. Let me show you. Ah, don't you just want to jump in there? So that's going to be me. <laughs> and then I'm going to put some silky pyjamas on. Silky from Primark. <laughs> pajamas on and uh, cook a healthy chicken stir fry for my dinner um, and then settle in front of the TV and just chill out for the rest of the evening. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I feel great within myself. Um, my infection's not completely gone just yet. <laughs> Every time I go to the loo I'm reminded that it's still clinging on a little bit. Um, but yeah, still got sort of like three days worth of antibiotics so I'm really hoping they kick in and that clears. But um, when I finish those, I should be able to do another test and if it hasn't gone, should be able to have enough time to get back in the, the doctors um, and get a new prescription before I go to India, so. But fingers crossed, we won't need to do that because in the next couple of days it will go. So I'm off to Birmingham today to catch up uh, with a friend that I haven't seen in a while uh, and we're going for lunch. I think it's his turn to pay, so we're going to Fumo, uh, which I think is like an Italian tapas place. I haven't researched it because I want to be surprised. I just bloody love food. Uh, <laughs> diet starts tomorrow. It doesn't. It never starts. Uh, and I'm going to go and get eyebrows done with benefit to start off with because they very much need doing and they couldn't fit me in the other week when Lucy did them so yeah all in all top Sunday <laughs> oh my god team sorry i haven't vlogged much today but i've just been having a lovely time eating all of the italian tapas food at fumo which is amazing i was absolutely gutted that i couldn't drink uh, because the wine list looked incredible um and then i potted round to primark to pick up the hoodie that i couldn't get the other day and i actually found a long line one which i think is going to be perfect for traveling in so it literally goes down to there so that's going to be great for uh, rocking with leggings because it's going to cover your bum which is brilliant and I decided that I really want some oh that was about eight pounds by the way bargain it's going to be great for like snuggling up in on the plane um 
there's some really cool shoes. They're like flat form, slip on trainer things. Now Primark have got some for eight quid and they are really great, but I can never find them in my size. So I had a quick look around elsewhere, found some in New Look which are even nicer for like 16 pounds. Again, couldn't find my size. Then went into like Topshop and everywhere. Everywhere else sells are like really, really expensive. The ones in New Look are so nice, but I can't find them in my size. They're not online in my size. And they're just gonna look super cool with like skinny jeans, but they're also gonna be great to travel in. So I'm gonna be on a mission this week to try and find those so come follow me on instagram and if i find them i'll post them on there uh, because i'm not going to see you now until after india <gasps> my goodness ignore my eyebrows by the way they always go super super dark uh when they when they're first done and then um they last a little bit longer so yeah and i was the lady i go to is amazing and we always end up chatting so much but then she always overfills them because we're end up just she's just like putting product on as we're chatting away anyway just don't want anyone to go whoa eyebrows yeah they're, they're pretty strong right now um yeah i'm not gonna see you until after india because i'm going on thursday so i won't have a chance to edit the vlog or anything um and to be honest you're not missing much the only thing i've got going on is matt's birthday um so i've got press tickets to go and see jersey boy so i'm taking him along there for his birthday and that's about it i think me and lucy are maybe gonna uh, go on a little dog walk together and the rest is just gonna be me sort of catching up on work and getting everything tied off before i go away so still haven't decided what i'm gonna do vlog wise for india whether i'm going to do um a weekly vlog or um a proper travel vlog i kind of miss my travel vlogs uh, i don't know if i've already said this to you guys i kind of miss my travel vlogs like i miss not doing one for bangkok because i did a, a vlog style one for that um which gets more views of course but i kind of want to do the travel vlogs for me so i can look back on them as well um and i'm really sad that you guys don't like watching them i kind of i kind of get it if you're not looking to go to the place that i'm vlogging about i kind of understand maybe why it wouldn't be of interest but um yeah i think i, I think i'm gonna do one of those kind of vlogs a proper travel vlog just for me um and then because i'm going with my friend emily i might do <laughs> a little bit of a weekly vlog as well so i'll take this camera anything i film on this will go in like a little sort of chatty vlog and then i'll film b-roll stuff on my slr and try and do like a main vlog on there i don't know what's gonna happen because the itinerary is jammed there is so much stuff that they're getting us to do um so yeah it's gonna be stress city but i'm really really excited to see a new part of the world and to try a real curry oh my goodness i love curry but i bet you it's gonna be completely different over there uh, loads of people have said it's quite bland actually anyway never mind <sighs> anyway we'll see uh, when we get there I suppose. So I am going to just jump in the shower because I always feel a little bit sort of dirty when I've been on a train <laughs> for ages and like traipsing around all day. I'm going to put on some jogging bottoms and then some baggy clothes I think. I'm going to settle in. Oh it's nice and warm in here. I'm going to settle in under my little blanket with the doggo. Um, I've got some leftover stir fry. That's my slipper. Thank you. Good boy just brought me my slipper um i've got some leftover stir fry from yesterday i'm gonna eat that for tea and then i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the evening with this very excitable puppy excuse me don't touch my boobs buy me a drink first um yeah sorry i was ill i don't know why i'm apologizing for being ill but yeah sorry it was a bit of a, a, a touch and go uh part of the vlog but i'm feeling a lot better now um actually start i actually woke up this morning and i was like hmm seems to be getting a little bit better so cross your fingers toes and eyes um that they kick in in time for india and uh yeah we get better but thank you very much for bearing with me this week guys i know it's been another ooh, I'm poorly again but i'm feeling, starting to feel a lot better now fingers crossed touch wood that's like here probably not wood um yeah i'm starting to feel a lot better which is great i'm just hoping that it stays that way and we have a nice healthy hospital free press trip <laughs> because i have a feeling the hospitals in india might not be as nice as the hospitals in finland uh, but i don't particularly want to find out but yeah i'm gonna leave you here guys so don't forget to come and follow me on instagram i'm at x amelia x um and there'll be instagram stories and instagram posts um while i'm away well all this week and then also while i'm away in india and yeah that's about it so i shall see you guys the week after i'm back maybe i'll have a bit of a tan who knows the mystery continues Bye! <laughs> Do you know that you're being an asshole today? Adding to my stress.
So everywhere just smells of dog poo. What a miserable old twonk. 